Hi, this is Russ Anderson. Today I'd like to talk a little about the Community Translation Project in Synthize, where the idea is that users can contribute translated versions of the Synthize user interface that take the form of a XML file that can be edited to add the appropriate translations. So I wanted to run through how that process works so that people will be able to give that a shot. So we're going to start out by selecting Make New Language Template and we're going to give a name for the language here. We're going to use just French, which is the only language that I have even the slightest clue about. We could have the word French in French, but that makes actually some of the character set issues a little diff di more difficult perhaps. So we're just going to go with an English version of the names. And I'm going to now save it away. And these XML files are kind of just like scripts. They go into the Synthize uh, user script folder. So I've saved that away. And now I'm going to bring up Notepad. On a Mac, you'd use uh, text edit instead. And I'm going to go and I'm going to open up that file. To do that, I need to select all files. Because this is a XML file. So it looks like this. It's, it's kind of a whole bunch of data. And I'll point out that uh, down the road it's possible to add some ways to be able to do this directly in Synthize, but basically I'm looking to see some support and interest from the community before spending that additional time to do so. So let's just start off. This first section of the file describes the translations for each of the different items on the menu. So I'm just going to bring up a little search box and I'm going to look for exit. And that's the first thing in the synthized file menu there. And you'll notice that the XML file is in alphabetic order. All the menu entries are in alphabetic order. So now I'm just going to add a translation for that. It says I want to translate exit to be the quitier. Pardon my French, which is a pot. So now let's let's go ahead. And here's our file. Now we've got a translation for that. And notice that I'm putting the quotes around the names that I'm entering just because those can show up as, as part of other me menu entries also. So this just makes sure I get the one that I'm looking for. And hopefully not only will people be able to tell me what I'm doing wrong as far as my translations, but you'll actually supply some <laughs> correct translations instead. That would be great. So you can see I'm just going through this in the order that it is on the menu. If you wanted, you could just start at the top and work your way down. And I'll point out that these files, if I get some files from different people for the same language, I can combine those together, or you do with any some commonly available Unix tools, to produce a, a composite version that has everybody's translations merged together. So now let's go and look for something on the main dialog display. And now here's a green screen. Let's see that the green screen here is on a dialog. And this is the control panel, you know, the summary control panel. And so it has all the entries here together in one particular block. So 
Now let's just go and do a few of these. So a green screen. And here's a tripod. And now here, here we get to a little more interesting sticky wicket, which is that we need to supply uh, the accented characters. If you have the right editing software, you may be able to enter the characters right. Microsoft Word tends to interpret this XML file as XML, and that's not really too convenient or not anything I could really figure out. So uh, just working in Notepad, you can use this tool, CareMap, and I'll just type into here. If you put this carmap.exe into the uh, start menu, the uh, search box on the start menu, then uh, you'll start up this character map tool. And once you've done that, you can turn on this uh, advanced view so that you have the additional controls. And in this case, I'm going to set the character set that we're going to use to this Western. It's Western European character sets. That's what uh, Synthize uses. And similarly, you want to adjust to uh, a reasonable font. And I'll point out, if you have your operating system configured to a substantially different language, you may be able to use one of the other character sets and the appropriate font to do that. You need to stick with the 8-bit character set that uh, would be like, like maybe uh, katakana uh, in Japanese. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully with your settings uh, set up that way, uh, that'll make it a little more apparent what needs to happen to get that to work. So this tool just lets us go and find the character we want. We're going to select it. And now we can just paste it in over here. And I'll point out that this is basically just the same as the special characters panel that's available from the edit menu on uh, a Mac. So now we've got our tripod in there. And let's just do solve. So now we've got a couple simple translations set up. I'm going to save this file. We'll just do a file save. And now back in Synthize, we want to tell Synthize to use it. So we're going to bring up the Preferences panel. And there's this Control User Interface Language. It's empty by default. You see there's nothing on it yet. So you need to go back and do find new scripts. So the synthesize goes and, and tracks down what we just added. Now we've got our French. We can select that, but in order for it to take effect, we need to just start up a new version. And now you see here's our file menu with our start at French translations. And here on the summary panel, we have our translations as well. So that gives you a bit of an idea of how this process works. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see how people do with this and being able to interact with you to help uh, be able to augment and synthesize capabilities in this area. Thanks and regards.